Yay! Yo guys, what's up the bus channel here and today we're gonna to unbox some more bus coach and minibus items. I'm not sure if they're all gonna be in it, but definitely a bus and a coach will be. And no I'm not gonna put them in the text anymore because it'll take too long to edit it and I'll edit and I'll get behind in the video. So yeah, let's get into it. Right then, so here we have this package first of all guys. Let's just cut it. Oh, you stupid bitch. Open. Here we go. Ta-da! It is a current flute list of bus and coach operators in Leicestershire and Warwickshire. Obviously it's not current nowadays because Johnson don't have this bus anymore, or any bus for that matter. They've stopped doing them now, because they've cancelled the XL bus services, then gave it to Diamond, and now Diamond have stopped doing the XL bus services, and now that, that's gone on to Stagecoach, so yeah. On the front, we have PN09 EMJ, and it's some sort of Optair, as you can see. Next we have a Mercedes-Benz Citaro on the back and that one is BX04 NXG then we have and that one's operated by Unilynx apparently and that's done by Arriva Arriva Midlands Next we have the Optair Solo which is KN04 XKD fleet number 47070 as you can see pretty cool and it's literally, I'll give you a page, and that's all I'm giving you. There's a page, for example. That's all it is, pretty much, is a fleet list, which is pretty cool. Didn't know these existed until the other day. Oh, actually, tell a lie. Oh, I like this. There's pictures in them as well. That is cool. Oh, this is amazing. I'm glad I brought this. Well worth the money. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, this is so worth it. Definitely buying some more. Half oh, 4's not in this, is it? <laughs> be funny if it was. Oh, hell yes, there's a county links in it, guys. There is a county links. I'm happy. This one is YJO6FZA. Probably filmed it at some point. There's also a little mini bus there. That one is BN10 FUD. Never heard of that one before. I'll have a proper look through this later, guys. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm buying some more of these. So, yeah, here's the front and there's the back. I'm so happy. Next, we have. This package here, guys, a bit easier to open. Please off you stupid. Ah, this one's my Ridley's. Some sort of Mercedes-Benz. It is a Mercedes-Benz Turismo. One of the newer ones, the 69 plate, as you can see. And this one is the BV69 LPF. And in the background, you can see a National Express West Midlands Enviro 400 MMC, I do believe. And that one is SN SK19 EPN. And then there's a diamond right straight light in the background. Oh, shit, that was close. Right there, guys, as you can see, sneaking in. And you can only see the start of that, Reg, and that is B... 
BD20, I do believe. I'm not sure, though. So, yeah, there is the front of the photo. And there's no point in showing you the backs because there's not anything on it. So, yeah, we'll put that off to the side now. And go on to the next one. Oh, the a-holes put the address on it. So yeah, here's the next photo. I can just cover it up my finger, that's alright. Yeah, off me. Ah! I know what this is. I thought there was nothing in here for a second, guys, but these are actually my negatives. As you can see, I'll just open them up, make sure they're both there. Yep, they're both there. So, one of them is, I'll just double check on eBay quickly. Go away, Internet Explorer, no one cares. Well, I care about Internet Explorer, no one else does. Go away, Microsoft Edge. Don't know, Bean. Piss off. Go away. I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> uh, scrolling down. Ah, so here we have the pull hands from Borton on the Water. This one here. You probably can't see it that well, but I can assure you this one is. Pullham Borton on the water, L, L2O2MHL, which is a Leyland Duff minibus, I do believe. So yeah, that is the negative. And next we have another Pullham, which is, is very similar to R4 actually. So yeah, both from the same seller, obviously. This one is... Pull hand button on the water. Oh shit, I dropped it. In the old livery, guys. And this one is GL52PUL. As you probably can't see, but that's the best you're gonna get. So yeah. Just slot them into the bag. Actually now, I'll I'll put them in my slide box later. So, yeah, that's just Pop that on the floor for now, I'll pick it up later. Next we have another, another one. Ah, I know what this one is. This one is just of loads of different buses, coaches and mini buses. So yeah, there is a mini bus in this one guys. The main picture is of this four transit, I do believe, or it, of the or just of the surrounding area. But the main one that I brought it for was the four transit, and that one is YD YG no YD09 PKX, I do believe. Slate leak weird carav. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but there it is, right there. And loads of different other buses in the background. Obviously, it's in the UK. So, yeah, moving on to the next package is this one right here, guys. Ah, I know what these are. There's three in here. Oh, they are tiny. <laughs> That's all right. This one is HX05BUJ68553. Well, it's an X first bus now, but there it is. It's a first. Yeah, just the first bus. I think it's in Yorkshire, I do believe. I'm not sure though. Prep me if I'm wrong, guys. So, yeah, this is a BMC Falcon 1100FE. I know that because I own a real one myself. X first Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Which is obviously in the J coach livery at the moment, and that is still in the garage getting repaired. So, yeah, that should be back on the road. The windscreens have been done now, which is all good. 
So yeah, what that really needs doing is the bumper and fitting the number plate on her. And probably some other stuff that they found as well. So yeah, this is what it would have originally looked like in bright yellow. I'm going to keep it in the J-coat slivery because yeah, I kind of like the J-coat slivery. So yeah, that is the photo itself. Pretty cool. I mean, if you take the bumper off, it actually has some yellow, like the bit they ain't painted because it don't isn't visible. So yeah, and it still has the original. Well, I don't know if it's original, but it still has the East Riding's destination blinding, and it still has the CCTV hard driving, which I'm dying to look at. So next we have another first bus. This is a trainer bus. I'm not sure what first it is. Oh, it says stuff on the back. Ah, perfect. It gives me the make of the bus. It's a Volvo B10 M55, Alexander B57F, 1990 apparently. And this fleet number is 60460 G605 NWA. I'm glad they did that. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool first trailer, training bus. I think this has been preserved now, I do believe. I looked up the red from Flickr and it seems to be preserved. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And next we have some of that you don't normally see pictures of. Which is this little thing here. <laughs> I'll just check the make of the car. See if the... It just says Classic Bus Metro Cab. That's all it says. Still pretty cool though. I'm glad I brought it. Not sure what make it is though, but the registration plate is P495LLL, so that's three L's. Don't see any of these nowadays, do you guys? So yeah, that is that picture. Moving on to the next pic parcel, or whatever you call it as, which is this one right here, guys. Open her up. Stonker open. What is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realise it has. <laughs> I didn't realise it that tiny, man. That's cool. Ah, oh, I'm happy with that. This one, I don't know what it is, but it's something to do with March and Cheltenham Spa, which is a coach company based in Cheltenham, which I've filmed a lot of their coaches. And buses in my like four years ago, I went to Cheltenham. I think I went recent, not this year, probably in 2019 on summer. I haven't really been anywhere since COVID because we've been really busy. That's why I haven't really been on any buses yet, guys, because obviously we got the yard as well now. So, yeah, obviously, yeah, we will get back to it. And once the BMC's done, we'll take it on more bus shows as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this is, but it's still pretty cool. So yeah, there's the front, and there's the back. Nice little marchants thing to add to my collection. It's probably some sort of clothes, clothes thing. Next. Next we have this package here, guys. Let's open it up. Aha, I know what this is. This is another BMC. But what's funny about it is it's got a car on its roof for some reason, which is a Peugeot. I'm not sure why there's a Peugeot on the roof, and I'm not even sure what Peugeot it is. But it is a Peugeot for definite. And this BMC is CN04XCK. And it, I'm not sure what company owns this either. I can just check though. Seems I've got eBay open at the moment. Do 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 do. Ah, this one is a BMC Falcon as well, but it's a newer BMC Falcon. Apparently it's Williams of Cross Keys or something. Still pretty cool though. I'm glad I brought it. I mainly brought it because, one, it's a BMC. Obviously way different from mine because mine's an older one. Not that much old. Actually, this one's older. It's just a different model. And yeah, I brought it because I found the car quite funny as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Moving on, we have the green bus. Transbus ALX 400, I do believe. 
And this one is Z318XKGW, fleet number 9718, Z318KGW, yeah I am saying that right. So yeah, this is the green bus, quite local to me, because they do, I think they do some Stratford school routes. So I think they're in um, ex-London buses, the red ones. If it's not um, the green bus, then it's Ridley's that owns them, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, because I did see one that said the green bus in the destination blind. But there's a couple of them floating around Stratford, I do believe, the Enviro 400s. Ex-London for definite, because you can see the bus's logo on the side, like, faded. When they take the stickers off, it just leaves an imprint of the st where the sticker was, if you know what I mean. Because they didn't T-cut it out, or however you remove it. So yeah, enough rambling. Let's move on to the last package now, guys. But don't worry, there is some more stuff. There you go. I'm just doing this one off camera quickly because it's got an address on. There we go, that got the son of a bitch. So yeah, I can show you this one now, guys. So yeah, that's what come out of the package. Just move, remove that and protect it. Remove that. Then we have this, guys. Aha! These are my margins photos. Oh no, oh, I thought it was stuck, thank god it weren't. So yeah, here we have a march into Cheltenham Spa, I do believe. Oh, it's got a massive dent on the front bumper, nice. <laughs> I love how I just have a massive dent on the front bumper, that's funny. So yeah, this one is a Willowbrook, AEC Reliance, and yes I do own a Willowbrook, RDB. I'm not sure of the reg, but I know it's off. Of... I'm just checking what the reg is of the Willowbrook. Uh, what's it on? No, not coaches. We've done twit buses. Ah, it is RDB867 we own, and yes, that was from Town District Transport Trust, I do believe their name is, the place where V176 ESL come from, 776, which we now own as well. So yeah, this is an AEC Willowbrook, owned, was owned by Marchants, probably isn't anymore, I, in fact, I know it definitely isn't, and yeah, as you can see, it's got massive dent on the front bumper for some reason. <laughs> the reg is on this one. Ah, it's an E Midland Willowbrook apparently. AEC Reliance. And it's a 396 RRR. That one is pretty cool. Been on a few Willowbrooks. Next we have another Marchants, I do believe. Yeah, so another Marchants. This is a Jupil, a Ju 1995 Marchants, which is the company. 1995, obviously being the year of the bus make, I think. El Jupil Elizabethan AEC Reliance. So it's another AEC Reliance, but not Willowbrook. Brook. It's an Elizabeth Elizabethan AEC Reliance. So yeah, I'll get there eventually, guys. So yeah, there it is in all its glory. Apparently going to Barton, fleet number 820. This fleet, this other one don't have a fleet number, guys, I don't think. So yeah, moving on, this one is 476CEL. 
Not sure what maker bus this is, but I'll just double check. Direct gold always comes in handy. This is what I'll do from now on, guys. You can also use flicker as well. There's a Mercedes. Untaxed since 2013. How interesting. Yeah. Oh. Date. The date of logbook changed. First of February 2013. Not on my birthday that year. How interesting. <laughs> it's quite funny actually. This one is owned by Charter Plan. And it's 476 CEL. Some sort of Mercedes. Not sure what it is. I'll check on the MOT history. See if it... See if it says. Pretty cool Mercedes though. I do like these. It just says Mercedes unknown. So sorry guys, I can't tell you what Mercedes it is because I am unsure. Unless there's some on Flickr. Which I might as well check. Ah, perfect. Some felt of. This one is of an ECW bodied Duple Dom IV body. Leopard, apparently. Something like that, guy. <laughs> I still like it. I like the double doors there. Double door fire exit. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Let's move on to some other stuff. Here we have a Oxford Park and Ride timetable with. SK66 HUZ, I do believe, as you can see. So, yeah, here's the front. There's the back. And this one is from the 8th of January 2023. So, pretty recent. Next, we have the city sightseeing in Oxford. Don't tell you the date, I don't think. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's April, October 2023. April to October 2023. So yeah, there's the front. There's the back. It has an Enviro 400 on the front, as you can see. Just can't make out the red from here, guys. It's too far away. So yeah. Moving on, we have... Hmm. Don't know why I had this. Interesting. So yeah guys, moving on to this airline coach timetable from the Oxford Bus Company. Not sure what make a bus it is. So yeah, there's the front and there's the back. Moving on, we have another airline one. Another two. So yeah, here we have an airline one, as you can see. This one is 8th of January 2023, and the other one is 8th of January 2023. Maybe the same, I don't know. So yeah, here's the front, and there's the back. Next, we have a Days Out timetable by Stagecoach. As you can see with our new logo. And yes, I do prefer the old logo to the new logo, but I do still like the new logo. So yeah, here is the front, there is the back. I'm sort of glad that the stagecoach around Stratford have kept their old livery as well as the new one, unlike some places, for example, Barrow and Furness, where they pretty much just resprayed all their new ones into all their buses into the new livery, all apart from one, it seems, and their training bus. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Moving on to the next one, we have another Oxford Park and Ride from. 8th of January 2023, SK66HUZ, right eclipse German eye, in case I didn't mention it. So yeah, here's the front, there's the back. I might have been on it actually, I'm not sure. Moving on to the last packaging, I'll just unbox it off camera because of the address in it. We have, oh god, we have a 
Vario 400 LLC SJ19OYT and a couple of other things as well, or coaches and buses. Obviously, a buses magazine that I like. So yeah, and they give you a date. May 2023 when it was done. So yeah, here's the front of the magazine and there's the back. Now, let's get the thumbnail. I don't believe. Yeah, let's get the thumbnail. So thank you guys for watching and peace out, peeps.